Good morning, Prairie Ridge. I'm here to talk about the apocalypse of Elena Mendoza. This is a story that I learned about because my book club outside of school is reading it, and I just purchased a copy for the library, so we will have it soon. In this story, the title character, Elena, is actually the product of a virgin birth, a scientific process known as parthenogen parthenogenesis. Uh, anyway, um, Maybe because of that unusual uh, beginning, Elena has the power to heal people. She didn't know that originally though, but then when uh, one day the girl that she's crushing on gets really hurt in a violent act, the voice from the Starbucks logo starts talking to her, telling her that she could heal this, this girl that she's crushing on. So she walks over, puts her hands on the girl, and is able to heal her. But then the perpetrator of the crime gets sucked up into the sky and he's gone forever. Other inanimate objects start to talk to Elena and tell her, you need to heal more people. You need to heal more people. And the problem is that Elena finds out that every time some object is telling her to heal people, and when she does, more people get sucked up off of this earth. And that's kind of a dilemma, isn't it? You don't know whether you should heal the person in front of you, knowing that others are gonna be affected. That's the heart of this whole book, I feel like, is uh, the ability for us to make the right decisions when we have imperfect or incomplete information. This is a really interesting story with lots of good conversations between Elena and her ex-boyfriend, Elena and her best friend, who's a guy, uh, Elena and the girl, Freddie, who she saved in the beginning of the novel. It's a thoughtful book. It's a really unusual story, and I can't recommend it enough. The Apocalypse of Elena and Mendoza. Please come to the library and check it out when we get it in our next order.